Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to make ice road simulation. So let's get started. First take a line node and set the y axis to minus 1. Now we need a mesh size node and set it y axis to minimum so that the object align properly at the base. Now add a resample node and turn off the length and enable the maximum segment and set the segment to 10. After that add a carve node and animate the keyframe of the first few parameter. I set a keyframe at a frame 1 with the value of 1 and another at a frame 12 with the value of 0. Now add a group expression node, set the group type to points, give it the name static and in the group expression field enter at the rate pt num less than 10 to select the first 10 points. Next add a point jitter node, set the scale to around 0.05 to apply subtle randomness and assign its static group which we created early. It's not necessary but if you want additional animated noise, you can copy the car value and paste it as a relative references into the seed value. Now add attribute creates nodes and create attribute called with. But before that go back to the resample node and enable the curve view attributes. In the value tab enter a small decimal number and multiply it by a direct curve view to scale the width gradually along the line. Now add a polywire nodes in the wire radius field enter the expression dollar $width. Now in the attribute create node you can control the scale of the edge, adjust the value according to the preferences. Now to start a fresh node add a grid node and then connected a scatter node to it. Actually we don't need scatter nodes. Take subdivide node and depth will be 3. After the subdivide node connect the attribute regular node. In the attribute regular node, select the third preset color based on threshold. For my geometry, I am changing the position x to z. Then create a custom channel called parameter to control the red value. Then hit the compile button. Now set the keyframe to animate the transition from black to red by moving the slider. Then add a mountain node and adjust the noise amplitude and size to match your preferred eyes like appearances. Then add a scatter nodes and set the amount of point to distribute the eye strums. Then take a attribute randomized node and set the attribute to p scale and adjust the value according to your preferences. Now add one more attribute randomized node, set the attribute to orient, change the dimension to 4 and apply slightly variation to create subtle orient changes. Now we need a two nodes called copy to points and for each point loop. Set it. Ok, before that take a attribute wrangler node, set the attribute to id equal to a direct pdnum. Then connect the first input of the copy to point node over polywire geometry. We need to fix the orientation so let's adjust this. Here you can see that the color slider. To remove the black portion, add a delete node after the wrangler node, set it to run over primitives. Sorry points. Choose the delete by expression and use the expression dollar cr more equal to zero. So it's gone. To create offset, add a time safe node. Connect the left hand side. Inside the time safe node, set the frame parameter to this expression. This offset the animation per points based on its ID and creating a stage effects. Now go back to attribute triangular node and then add a delete node after its. In the delete nodes, go to group section and enter the expression at the red cd.x is greater than 0.1 and make sure it's run over points. Actually, before the delete node, insert the attribute blur node and set the attribute to cd and the iteration to 80. And connect this before the mountain. Now connect the extrude volume node. Set the extrusion depth to small value for the subtle thickness. Then merge both the IC edge and ground. Now 
Now that we have to combine the geometry, add a VDB from polygons node and set the voxel size to 0.03. Then add a VDB smooth node. After that, connect a convert to VDB node. Decrease the iteration of the smoothness. And change to convert to polygons. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you on next one.